Welcome to Decision Space Geophysics. This video will explain the best practices for choosing model extent and geometry resolution when building a velocity model. To follow along with this video, launch velocity modeling from the Tools drop-down menu and select Create Model in the dialog that opens. The framework for a velocity model is a 3D grid. The first step to creating a velocity model is defining the extent of your model which is a guideline for the spacing between grid nodes in each dimension and will determine the resolution of your model. To help you decide these grid spacing parameter choices, keep in mind the resolution needed to image the features important to the prospect you're examining. Generally, the sampling should be less than half the dimensions of the smallest feature you're attempting to resolve. The graphic shown here displays a gas sag feature, which is 2,000 by 1,000 meters. So the grid spacing we'd input to resolve it is 1000 by 500 meters. To choose your resolution for the vertical time or depth dimension, there is a similar rule of thumb. Use half the thickness of the smallest feature you wish to resolve. Time increments between 12 and 50 milliseconds are appropriate for decision space. For depth, the limit is between 18 and 75 meters at 1500 meters per second. Grids with thickness less than this are not recommended. The well log here is a good example of this. The blue smooth velocity log is a more appropriate gauge to the vertical grid spacing in time than the red, which shows too many fine variations. Define the model extent by choosing the source to be a survey range and selecting the survey. You can also set your model extent by a framework, another velocity model, drawing in the extent in the map view, or manually entering in the parameters in the X and Y ranges. To help you decide the geometry resolution of your velocity model, keep in mind these tips. Use Preview only for previewing purposes, which quickly produces a smooth model. Use medium resolution for models constructed from well data. Use high resolution for models constructed using tomography or full waveform inversion. You can also set a custom time resolution for arbitrary resolution or working with higher frequency data sets. Changing the resolutions adjusts the time resolution, the central frequency, and vertical and horizontal bin thickness. Keep in mind that bin size determines how rapidly a velocity can change within a formation, not the precision of those velocities. You can always change the model resolution and resave it at a later time. Remember that there is always a trade-off between size and resolution of a model for computation speed. Don't use high resolution unless a prospect demands it. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information on this or any of our products, please visit our website at landmarksoftware.com.